Hi, I'm Kate from the Small Things blog. Today I'm going to show you how to do a swept to the side updo um, that's very simple and very relaxed. Um, you can start with any texture of hair. It can be curled, straight, a little bit of curl in it like I have. It really does not matter what you start with. And you can really kind of start with a variety of lengths as well. So as long as you can kind of push your hair over to the side, you can do this style. So you could try it at chin length. I would say like mid-neck might be a good shortest length to shoot for. And if you have hair longer than my length um, or my length, you'll be fine. So anyway, enough chat. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit of hair out around my bangs just because I kind of like to do that. But if you don't have bangs or if you want to try this with the center part, you can do that too. So don't feel like you have to start with my exact texture either. Um, I got this really beautiful headband. I picked it up at Ulta. Um, it is made by Elle, and it's just got all these sparkles, and I like it because in a way it's low profile because it's not like a huge flower or anything, um, but it's still kind of huge and noticeable and a statement piece for the hair. Um, so I like to start with my headband in just so I can get an idea of how the hair is going back um, as we're pulling it back, and I also want to make sure I don't have a part continuing too far back. So go ahead and put that in to where you'd like to. So. Once you have it in there, kind of soften your hair and pull it back since all of this is going to go around this way. And make sure, like I said before, your part doesn't continue past the um, focal piece of the headband. If, you can also use a plain headband with this, you just won't have quite the impact. Okay, so once you have a good placement for your headband, we're going to start to do the style. Um, all you'll need is bobby pins for this. If you have super thick hair, this might not be a great tutorial for you, but try it. You might be surprised that it might work for you. So this is great for thin hair or medium hair. Um, basically what we're doing is sort of a reverse French twist. So all of the hair on the opposite side of your part or just one side of your head, maybe the side that the embellishment is on, is going to go this way and then we're just going to fold the hair from the right side over top of it. So that's basically what's happening, just so I can show you that. So begin by grabbing a section of hair on your right side. And then just pin it right on top of the left side of your head and continue doing that as you go down. Sort of sweep the hair all the way to the right, so you make sure you have that all over there. And then once you have all your, all of your sections pinned, take a hand mirror and look at the back and make sure you kind of have them all evenly spaced out. Okay, so once you're happy with your placement back there, go ahead and slip a few more bobby pins just below that section that you were working on, just to secure it in place. Since this is going to be your only hold factor, these pins, kind of the more you have on the underneath, that'll help secure it. And those won't show once you soften your hair out. Okay, so once you've added a few more bobby pins to the underneath of this style and you feel like it's secure, you're ready to go. I would finish with a little bit of hairspray so it doesn't move. Make sure your volume is kind of symmetrical on top, that you don't have one huge section over here that's too volumized or the same thing on the other side. Um, and just check for any flyaways. Make sure you don't have any long pieces coming out of the side that you have swooped over. Um, but that's all there is to it. So very simple, not the kind of style that I would necessarily wear to some place that you're going to be moving your head around a ton or like dancing. Um, this would be great for like a dinner or any kind of formal event where you're chatting or walking around or something where you're not going to be turning your head a ton. Although it may stay in place, I just, I'd hate for your hair to fall out if you were at a fancy event. That would be kind of embarrassing. But I'm sure you could recover with any of the styles that I've taught you in the past. So if you want to check out any other hair tutorials, be sure to check my blog, thesmallthingsblog.com. Thank you.